see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you from South Carolina. But I will gladly join the fight. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. No, it's not. And when our children tell our story, will you read it? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday, the 27th, Lieutenant Colonel John Lawrence was killed in a gunfight against British troops in South Carolina. These troops had not yet received word from Yorktown that the war was over. He is buried here until his family can send for his remains. As you may know, Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence was engaged in recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. The surviving members of this regiment have been returned to their masters. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander, are you all right? I have so much work to do. My name is Samuel Seabury, and I present free thoughts on the proceedings of the Continental Congress. Heed not the rabble who scream revolution. They have not your interest at heart. Oh my God, tear this dude apart. Chaos and bloodshed are not a solution. Don't let them lead you astray. This Congress does not speak for me. Let him be. They're playing a dangerous game. I pray the king shows you his mercy. For shame, for shame. Yeah. He'd, He'd not have you the all unravel at the sound of screams. But the revolution coming, they have not the good old wind. Just at heart. To listen to you with a straight face. Chaos and bloodshed already haunt a soft solution and even talk. Don't and what if I'm lost and look at the cost and all that we've lost and you talk this about Congress? Congress does not speak for My me. dog speaks more eloquently than me. A dangerous a dream. Only your mind is I the same. The king shows you his mercy. Is he in Jersey? For oh, shame for the revolution. Yourself again, I'm gonna scream. scream. Honestly, look at me, please don't read. Not your interest. Don't modulate the key, then not debate with me. Why should a tiny island across the sea regulate the price of tea? Alexander, please. Burr, I'd rather be divisive than indecisive. Drop the niceties. Silence! A message from the king. A message from the king. A message from the king. The newly not poor of us. Woo! We'll tell the story of tonight. <laughs> well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir. I didn't think that you would make it. To be sure. Burr. I came to say congratulations. It's been a verse, Burr. I see the whole gang is here. You are the worst, Burr. Ignore them. Congrats to you, Lieutenant Colonel. I wish I had your command instead of manning George's journal. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Now be sensible. From what I hear, you've made yourself indispensable. Well, well, I heard you got a special someone on the side. Is that so? What are you trying to hide? I should go. No, these guys should go. What? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, man. It's all right, Bert. I wish you'd brought this girl with you tonight, Burr. You're very kind, but I'm afraid it's unlawful, sir. What do you mean? She's married. I see. She's married to a British officer. Oh, shit. Congrats again, Alexander. 
smile more I'll see you on the other side of the war I will never understand you If you love this woman, go get her What are you waiting for? I'll see you on the other side of the war I'll see you on the other side of the war